Hello, Carrie here. I've got this large piece of paper that came in some packing from Amazon. I'm going to use up a pile of scrap paper that I've got. Um, sorry about the wobble there. <laughs> a pile of scrap papers I've got um, that I, there are really too many. I've got so many I can't see what I've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a giant collage with this. It's about 18 inches high by about five foot long. And I'm just going to go over with all my bits of paper that I've got spare. I had a good old clear out, threw away some pieces. I'll put some other pieces aside that'll be great for snippet rolls. I need to make some more of those. But these pieces are larger and the colours all coordinate and I'm going to use them all up, finally. It's time to use them. These are my jelly prints. What I have a problem with is I make something and then I can't, I just can't use it up straight away. So it sits in a pile and then eventually I get the courage to use it. <laughs> it's a silly, silly thing of mine. I love those colours. The whole thing is going to have like this sort of colour leaning. And at this stage, I'm really not sure whether this is going to work or not. So it's a bit of a gamble. But I decided to go ahead with it anyway. I'm just using some PVA glue and I'm using a silicone brush to spread it out. And press down the pieces. So I'll just um, leave this running and I should be quiet for a bit. There's some music to listen to. <laughs> I'm using up some book pages, some colouring book pages as well. My aim is to reduce my pile um, into half the size it was. So I um, aim to put the large pieces down and then fill in with the smaller pieces and allow some pieces to overlap. I love that bright purple. It's almost a pinky purple. Some more bits of book pages there as well. I 
you can't see, but to the left of me I've got a waste bin and I'm throwing away rubbishy bits. And on the right of me I've got a little bin where I'm putting bits that are suitable for snippet rolls and snippet pads. Now I'm really getting down to the smaller pieces here. <laughs> So basically, I keep going and I do this over the entire five foot. And so I'm going to spare you all of that. <laughs> and uh, I shall show you in a bit what it looks like when it's all done. It took me quite a while. <laughs> you don't want to see all that. But I just thought I'd show this so you get a gist of what I'm doing. In fact, what I do is I put it aside and let it dry overnight. And I shall return shortly with it all dry and show you what it looks like, all five foot of it. <laughs> Here we are. This is the next day. It's all nice and dry. And I just love all these shapes and colours. Love those bright greens. Here it is. It goes on and on. There's loads of it. It feels so good. <laughs> so I've got to decide what to do with it now. I kind of want to turn it into a journal. But how am I going to do that? is a bit uh, confusing for me so what i've actually done is um i went away and i left it and i thought about it and thought about it i know i want to sew on it but that size is very difficult to manage in the sewing machine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to chop it up into little pieces which i kind of didn't want to do but then once i get going i really enjoy that so this is me pondering obviously <laughs> i'm just enjoying it so i'm thinking <laughs> plucking up the carriage actually <laughs> wondering how to do it it's too big to fit in the paper cutter even so i'm having to do it with scissors which as yeah as i often say i'm very bad at cutting a straight line i could draw a straight line no problem can't cut one <laughs> so i cut off a, a slice <laughs> and i'm going to trim it into a rough square cut off all the funny little bits especially that to one bit you know even the bits i cut off i'll be able to use in something I'm going to get scraps from my scraps. And I'm just going to tidy up all the um, bits that I can. Make sure I've got some straight edges because there'll be a bit of folding going on with this. So I'm going to start off with one nice straight edge. But I'm not measuring actually. I want all the pages to be different sizes. You'll see what I mean at the end. I don't want it to be all perfectly aligned anyway. quite thick actually to fit through that but it does so there we have it so I'll repeat that throughout the entire thing and they have all sorts of different sizes and shapes and I'm now going to go away to the sewing machine and I shall be back and show you what I've done here we are Ta -da! just like that it's taken two days actually to do this here and there amongst other things what i've done is i've uh, zigzag stitched all over then i've folded it so i've got uh, collage on both sides and then i've sewn around the edges and um, sorry that's slightly off screen i should bring it further in in a moment and i've done various sizes and they all sit in together and i'm going to sew them I just love something there's something about having all these odd shapes that's really appealing to me at the moment i've made a couple of handmade books that were perfect and i didn't like them and this is what i realized is what i want it's funny isn't it i hadn't realized until i um did it so i'm going to get all my sewing together the materials my book binding stuff such as such as it is it's all a bit basic actually it's just a bodger a needle and some thread <laughs> i need some clips actually to hold these pieces together while i'm working they don't have to be perfectly lined up actually i just want um just want to be held together. Then I don't know what I'm going to do with it afterwards. It's going to be one of those things that's going to have to go and sit and percolate for a while until I pluck up the courage and some idea forms. Actually, I've already got an idea forming, but um, yeah, I just need a bit of courage now. <laughs> Are you like this? Do you, do you often, often um, make something like an art journal and you're too afraid to spoil it? I think that's what it is. I'm, I'm afraid to spoil it. 
because that can happen. <laughs> so I spent, I've spent a lot of time making this and I'd be gutted if I ruin it. Mind you, there's this thing, you know, even if I don't like what I do, I can always go over it again. I could put more collage on, I suppose. There. Oh, it's looking lovely already. And here's the thread I'm going to use. It's just some embroidery floss. So I need to pull off three times the length of the book. I pull the thread and of course it just gets in a tangle in a knot. I always pull the wrong one. <laughs> oh dear. So I'm just getting out and trying again. There we go. One, two, three. And a little bit more because I want I want the thread to dangle so I can attach dangly things. Possibly. I'd just like to have that option. So basically I'm just going to do a bunch of hole right in the middle. This isn't my proper book binding book ball. I found it the other day. Right, that's the smallest piece, so just gonna make sure I keep that included. So it's about an inch above. And the book pages aren't exactly lined up, so I'm just gonna put one there. Great. Now I need my big needle. So through the middle, pull it and leave a bit of tail, then back out through the top. It's a bit tight. There we go. That's it coming through the top and then back through the bottom. And then back through the middle. That's it. And I want a piece of thread on either side. I'm pulling it tight, but then I've realised I haven't got a piece of thread on either side of that long thread. So I'm going to pop that through and then pull it tight again. That's it. Pull it tight and tie a knot. And there it is. My book. I love it. Let's get these clips off and have a have a flick through. Keep <laughs> it is. Have it. Oh, got some thread there. I want to cut off. Tie knot first. Thought I'd done that earlier. There's a lot of threads to tie off on this. <laughs> There we go. Right, let's have a flip through. Oh, I love that front page already. Just, oh, I just love it. I don't know which side will be the front, which will be the back. Let's decide on that later. <laughs> Look at these lovely pages. Oh, it's so nice. So there's 10 pages, uh, two on each page. So that's 20 sides. Like I'm working. Oh, look at it. That's better have a bit more on screen now. Sorry about that earlier. That's lovely. This is going to be such fun to work in. But as I say, I'm a bit nervous. A bit nervous at this stage. Oh, so yes, it's going to have to uh, sit on a shelf and percolate, and eventually it'll call me, and an idea will form. So what do you think? Are you going to do something like this? Let me know. I think it's a great idea. Used up loads of scraps. Managed to empty my box and clear some space with some more scraps. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.